Hi, I'm Alex with the Airlink Network Technology, a company that develops its own comprehensive range of reliable, high quality and easy to deploy business IP phones. The T48G is the latest IP phone from Yearlink. It works like a modern smartphone, making life more efficient for busy CEOs, senior executives and other professionals. I will now demonstrate the assembly operation and procedure for the 348G in five easy steps. First, let's unbox the unit. The following items are included in your package. A CD with a quick installation guide, quick reference guide and user guide. The quick installation guide and the reference guide, hard copies. Let's have a look at the main unit now. The main unit features a modern design with scratch resistant surface, metallic uh, look-alike look strip, a slick touch screen and thin construction. The accessories included in the package are a handset cord, an Ethernet wire, also known as a network cable, the base, and the handset itself. Also, sold separately, are available a power adapter, and an expansion module. We shall see in a minute the purpose such a module serves. First, we shall connect the handset. Take the handset cord and plug the short end of the handset cord into the handset. Like this. Now take the long end of the cord and plug it into the RJ11 jack marked handset. For clean cable management, the Yearling T48G provides a groove that, with a little bit of skills here, shall hold your cord in place during operation. Like this. Now we're ready to connect the base. Hold the base in your left hand and attach it to the four slots and the grooves provided on the back. Then slide gently to your left, like this. The Yearling 348G uses the Ethernet protocol for data communication. To connect your Ethernet cable, plug one end of it into your router and the other end into the RJ45 jack marked Internet on the back of the unit. Like this.
For power, the T48G supports two operating modes. One is the power over Ethernet if you have or if you use a router that is PoE compliant. In such a case, connecting the Ethernet cable is all you need to do. The power shall be supplied to the unit by your router. If your router does not support power over Ethernet, you need to connect to plug your power adapter into the nearest power socket on the wall and the other end of it into the jack marked 5 volt DC on the back of the unit. Like this. As soon as your unit is powered, your display shall light up and your telephone is ready for operation. Once the initialization procedure has completed, the main menu shall come up on the 7-inch touchscreen of the T48G, presenting us with 6 account keys and 29 DSS keys. To create a new account, hit the menu key, go to advanced options, Enter the password provided to you by the system administrator Hit OK Select the default account type Enter your information and follow the instructions provided on the screen To make a call, activate your account and dial the number. Record your message and press pound or press star to contact the operator. End the call from here. To configure additional features and functions on your account, Hold down the account key and choose one of the many features available along with their settings on the menu. Once you're done, exit the menu and return to the main screen. The Yaling T48G supports two expansion options. For an additional 40 DSS keys, we have the EXP40 module sold separately. To attach the EXP40 module to the main unit, you must first connect the side bracket to the main unit by gently pressing it down. and plug the RJ11 connector into the jack marked EXT. And now your telephone has been expanded with 40 additional DSS keys as soon as the initialization procedure completes. Also available separately is a USB Bluetooth dongle which goes in the USB port at the back of the unit. Like that. Thank you for watching my presentation. We hope you enjoy operating the Yearling T48G terminal as much as we enjoy designing it.